viewers welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to illustrate how to make a gown that comes with sleeve i would rather call it to drape gown but this one come in a different pattern it comes with a joint sleeve to the length and to you take it from the sleeve to the length full length now i'm going to use two yards of chiffon fabric signature fabric as you can see you can otherwise call it vintage as well two yards it's by 60 that's 36 by 60 so you're going to fold like what i'm going to show you now fold it in a bias pattern others will be folding it into four but this one we're going to fold it in a bias pattern why we're doing this is that so that the pattern of what we want like what you've seen on the thumbnail can really come out like the way we want it. so we're going to fold it in a bias pattern We are bringing out single. We are bringing it single, single. That the front body is different, separate, and the back body is separate. We're taking 23 here, so you make sure yours is up to 23. This is for the first bodies that I'm going to cut out. 23. So first of all, you're starting your measurement from the side that doesn't have a cut, like what you've seen here. You take, place your tape the way you've seen it. Then my client's um, shoulder here is 14. First of all, mark the 14, sorry, 14, shoulder 14, 14 divided by 2 is 7. And I'll mark and leave an extension of this, as you can see, 16. I just need the extension so it will bring out the sleeve the way we want. Then from the extension, I'm going to mark from the tips of the extension here, the 23 I told you about. I'm going to mark the arm hole here. I'll take nine and a half. Depending on the person's bust. If the person is, I like my client one year, her bust is 35. If it is bigger than this, you increase it to maybe 10 or 11. But I only, I'm going to take nine and a half so that when this place, when they gather it to put the band, it will really come out like what we want. So, and after I'll come back to where I have my shoulder, I'll mark my arm hole just to know what we want and where we are going to bring out our this thing so you mark your full length sorry full length my client just wants 38 she needs a short dress you can use it like dress and use it to wear leggings depending on what you want if she needs 38 but i'm going to extend it with bending to 40. can be one like short dress can also wear like a um a top a long top so i'll still mark everything you mark her half length and then her hip line just 24. don't forget everything lies on a bias pattern you mark her bust a bust here is 35 35 divided by four we have eight and a half quarter close to nine then same thing here the shape her shape is 31 you mark there's one divided by four is going to be seven and a half quarter don't forget i've not added any allowance it's a free dress i i know why i'll tell you the reason then you mark her hips her hips here is 39 39 divided by 4, you have 9.5 quarter. Since it's a free dress, in a normal bodies, body con dress, we just connect like this and take from here to where you have your bust. But in this case, I'm not going to do like that. So we just mark where we had our previous 9.5. 
we're just going to connect it like this we bring it out in a slant form take it from a slant form please be careful if you need spinning you have to pin your fabric down so that you now have a rock after cutting you connect it to when you have that's it like as she wants her own to come out in a v form so instead of allowing it like this straight to be straight i'll rather slant it from where we have the hips line this is where we have the hips line so i will slant it from here i can bring it down sorry by four inches she does not want it that open so i can bring it down by four or maybe six inches that is from the hips line here i'll add additional six to seven inches Mm -hmm. then I'll bring it down around it and now it is after cutting maybe you see it well I don't know if you can view it very well then don't forget the neckline her neckline I'm going to give her, that's what she wants. I'm going to give her sweetheart neck, not the usual neck that we've been seeing. So I'll take up neck here, three and a half, then down neck here, five or five and a half. You can take five and a half, you can use six. And connect. Don't forget the shoulder is already slant so when you're cutting you note that you start cutting And you cut out the bodies. Take it down and you can now bring it. Now have the first one for the front. Place the front on the back to bring out the back. Have the front. Just place the front bodies on the back. You fold the back too. Like the same thing you did for the front. You still fold it in a slant form. Don't forget to still keep it at 23 like what you did for the previous one the shoulder here your folding is supposed to be 23 uh, this shoulder region 23 and place the front here To bring out the back bodies, you just place the front. So that the only difference here is that the neckline is going to be different. But every other thing remains equal.
can see it's well arranged then you cut it soon since the neckline is not going to be the same for the back and the front you now mark out your neckline for the back up to five here that we have you mark the same five then you can take like one or one and a half Don't forget there's still going to be an opening behind here. And you cut out so that So what you have now open it up so you can pass your you can create a hole and pass your pattern put loops or who can I open it up up to that three inches that's all you just you have to join the shoulder I'll use bias or facing to turn the turn the the neckline thereafter you join the shoulder run a gathers through the sleeve then you band it you bring your band your band is supposed to be use your material or you can use black plain material any one you wish to but your band my own band as you've seen on the thumbnail I use four inches sometimes you can use five as well fold it into two you have two and a half or two as you use it to burn after gathering this you use it to burn here yeah. then you can sh take show the shape this one doesn't have to just stitch a little by the side then you bend it down your dress is ready thank you very much hope you learned something thanks please don't fail to subscribe